So almost ready to get underway. Our starting pitcher in this one, Eduardo Rodriguez. Lots of punch outs, a real strikeout artist singing. Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. And down on strikes. One out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Little chopper rolls foul. No score, just getting started. Top of the first. Popped up. Hernandez should have this one. He makes the grab, and there's two away. Batting third, the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Two outs, base is empty. And into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Mullins. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And that one is lifted in the air. Betts under it. And that is that. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. We go to the bottom of the first. Here now the Red Sox DH. Ricky Henderson. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. And now it's Mookie Betts. Two homers in the game yesterday, so he's feeling good coming in. And a pitch. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And it's off the wall. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. And now J.D. Martinez. J.D. And here it comes. Hit hard. That gets through. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Now two runs score, and they lead by two. And now David Ortiz. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. That one hammered left field. That's back there. And that one is off the top of the wall. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. This way Boggs now swings and blasts one deep to left center. It bangs off the wall. He pulls into second as they score a pair on the play. They are really feeding off each other. That's five hits in a row. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra base. Rudder takes off. Throw there. Safe. Well, maybe he thought he should have gone for a triple instead of a double and just decided, I'm going to take third this way. Definitely using his legs to his advantage right here. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there on its way and out of here. Xander Bogart hits one out. His fourth home run of the season. And they add a couple more. It's 6-0. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Bruce Zimmerman won't go any further tonight. And as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Grabs it on the run, and there's one down. Here's Kevin Ploiecki. You know, when you look around the game and think about the best power hitters in the sport, this guy is one of the first names you got to come up with. Laced into left. That's a base hit. Singy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with StatCast. Dead head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. And now Ricky Henderson. Lace to right center base hit. Hops over the wall and that's an automatic double as a run scores. So one out with two aboard. And now it's Betts doubled his first time up. Well, swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance, and it's out of here. 
Mookie Betts blasts one out. It's his eighth home run of the year, and they throw three on the board. It's 10-0. That's his third straight game with a homer singing. This dude is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. Jorge Lopez will take over here. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. And that's a double. Sheesh. Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StatCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. Wade Boggs up next for the Red Sox. Lopez back to work. Over to third, but the throw's offline. Swing and a base hit. In comes the run from third. It's 12-0. And in its second with an RBI double. Picks himself up an RBI. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on playing. This ball is hammered. Deep center field. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. That one felt good. His second home run of the game. It's 14-0. Dylan Tate takes over on the mound. And this is his season debut. Next to hit, Jackie Bradley Jr. And that's a base hit. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. When you see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. And now it's going to be Kevin Plowecki. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Throw into third. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. And now Enrique Hernandez singled and scored his first time. The pitch. Base hit. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and they extend their lead. That now ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat, and I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog, and these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Now that. Absolutely punished that pitch. Wasn't fooled in the slightest. 109 off the bat. I think that means you put a pretty good swing on it. Here's Mookie to hit. And that one hammered. That's back there. That one ops against the fence. Pulls into third safely. A run comes in on the play. J.D. Martinez stands in. J.D. Martinez. And the pitch. That one drilled left field. Base hit. In to score is the runner from third, and the lead continues to grow. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Base hit. One run in already. Another comes in to score, and they extend their lead. Singy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with stack pass. Good head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. Singy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with stack cast. Good head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers courtesy of StatCast. 
Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off now your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And yeah, first offering is fouled off. Now the one Left field, way back there. Hits the fence. Throws to second. And the tag gets him. That ends the inning, but two runs. Do Back here at Fenway as we go to the second. Top of the second. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. And he grounds one to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. And now it's Austin Hayes. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And there's a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Bounce to the right, and foul ball. To third, Box collects. Box fires over to first. Two up, two down at the top of the second. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Trey Mancini takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here at Fenway, bottom half of inning number two. Here's a big power threat, Ricky Henderson. No matter what, you're playing this kind of rival to take your game to another level. And now the lefty. That's a laser base hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. Odor, relay to third, not in time, he's safe. Now it's Mookie Betts. The pitch. Oh, now this is blasted, way back there, on its way, gone. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. That's a base hit. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Now it's going to be David Ortiz. Base hit, left center field. Throw comes in, runner stops, second and third, nobody out. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Base hit, one run is in. Now two runs score, and the lead continues to grow. Sheesh. Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StackCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and just unloaded on that ball. Safe at second, he likes out the double. We all saw his hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? StackCast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit velo was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly he saw it out of the pitcher's hand no problem. That one is gone. 
That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Tyler Wells. This is his first appearance of the season. And he'll one. Bounce to third. And it's through for a hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. You put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. Oh, he dropped it. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Singy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with StatCast. Good head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And that one is off the wall. He's in safely at second as two runs score on the play. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more. Out. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. And now a wide throw to third. Right-handed reliever. Base hit and a run in to score. Well done. Drives in the run. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he made it out front for the line drive knock. J.D. Martinez stands in. That one ripped left field. And it's out of here. Well, we put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Stepping in the long ball threat. Wade Box. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off to the right. You'll one. Liner snagged it first. Now batting. Shortstop. Xander. Here's Xander Bogarts. Oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. Sneaks through base hit. I mean, come on, have a game. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Mountcastle picks it up. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Back here in Boston, top half of the third inning, and into the box for Baltimore, Anthony Santander. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Got him looking. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Rupnet Odor comes up empty with a swing there. Batting here with one away. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. Now, here is Jacob Nottingham. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. The why to kick the pitch. In the air, right side of the infield. Rodriguez makes the catch, and that'll do it. As we go to the last of the third, here's the speedy catcher, Kevin Plowecki. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. 
he is at the top of the game out to short that's a base hit no, I'm sure he feels really good about that one got the top of the ball a little bit but not much that was hit pretty far through the infield so I think he'll be happy with that swing definitely generated some good bat speed and the batter now Enrique Hernandez Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. As they score a pair on the play. And now it's Mookie Betts. These are the best kind of automatic doubles for an offense. Everyone scores on the play, and they still have a runner in scoring position. And they pitched to him with the base open at first, maybe regretting that a bit, but there's nothing they can do about it now. Ziggy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with StatCast. Dead head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer. Just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. Here's the pitch. It's a double steal and safe. It's a stolen base. A one down. The other way. And that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and they extend their lead. This is unbelievable. That's now six consecutive hits by this lineup. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. And it's caught for the out. Now batting. It's Xander Bogarts now. The right-hander back to work. That one ripped left field. And it's out of here. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one. And he's just so locked in with this swing. And he's just not missing right now. Three homer game. Man, it's so special. And it's oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And that one is gone. Back to back Jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boo. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. He swings and drives one out to deep left field, and it's off the wall. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Here's some real power at the plate. Enrique Hernandez. And he deals. This to third. And that one finds its way through. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And he'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Stepping in, Ricky Henderson. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. So two away with nobody on. Next to hit, Mookie Betts. Right here, Mookie Betts. Fry back to work. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Martinez. And Martinez. Line drive. Tracks it down for the out. And that ends the end. So there it is. The crew chief has made the decision, and they're going to delay the game. The weather just too much to keep playing right now.
Well, hopefully the break isn't too long. I think this could pass through pretty quickly, Boog, but I'm no weatherman. I do know this. These pitchers want to be able to stay in the game, so we'll see. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. And there's the strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Gutierrez looks at a strike. Second trip to the plate for him. Gutierrez. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Now batting. The wind of the pitch. Tasked with one, That's two, it. and three to start this inning, oh. but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Take a little. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. And we're back here at Fenway Park. And now the first baseman, David Ortiz, is hit for a bad pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Here comes the pitch. That one hammered center field. That's back there. And that one is gone. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And now, Wade Boggs. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. So let's take a closer look inside the numbers. That blast from StatCast, 113 miles an hour off the bat, Singy. And it just flew out of here, Berg. Even if you only heard the ball hit the bat, you knew that was a home run. I mean, he put a perfect swing on it, and the numbers back it up. He's got the cycle into third with a triple. Jackie Bradley Jr. a chance to hit. Jackie. Bradley Jr. And the pitch. That's a base hit as a run scores. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And that one is going to go. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Coming on for the Orioles, Cole Solcer. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And he needed a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Ricky Henderson. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Well struck left field. Hits the top of the wall. Throws to second. And he's safe. It's a wall ball double. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Swung on, belted. Back there. High off the light tower and gone. A towering blast. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game, they're just so rare. They're so special and just so no tough to pull off as well. JD. Everything has to line up for you, but of course, you got to make it happen too. And these are the types of performances that people just don't forget, and it's definitely going to live on in history. Right-hander kicks deals, and that one fouled off. Wings here and blasts one left field. That's back there. And it hits the fence. 
safe at second. This offense is on fire. Three extra base hits in a row. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Runner takes off for third. Bro, save. That's a stolen base. Martinez stands at third with one gone in the inning. Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one. And everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension. And just drove it out of here. And there's a fly ball. Deep right field. He's in at second with a one-out double. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. The pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Into the monster seats and gone. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game, they're just so rare. They're so now special and just so tough to pull off Jackie. as well. Everything Bradley. has to line up for you. But out towards right center, that's well struck. That one is gone. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets the everyone's attention. The Got a pitch to drive, yeah, short to the baseball, squared wow. it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy Number of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. That one ripped. Bangs off the wall. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. And here is Ricky Henderson. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. And a pitch. Ripped in the right center. Base hit. One run is in. Another comes in to score. And the lead continues to grow. Here's Mookie now. The right field. Out front, rip foul. Righty to the plate. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Here is J.D. Martinez. Up next for the Red Sox. No left field. And here it comes. JD. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. And it hits the fence. And he's got a double. So stepping in for Boston. David Ortiz. The pitch. He's trying for third. Bro, and they got him. Swing and a laser off the bat. This looks like extra bases. And now let's see if he goes for it. And that's a two-out double. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. 
Well, let's get a better feel for that rocket by diving into the numbers with StatCast. Singy, he didn't miss it. No, clearly not. I mean, he launched that ball at 118 off the bat, and that's just ridiculous power. You know, very few guys can hit a ball as hard as he just did right there. And that one is over the monster and gone. Unreal. Absolutely unreal, Boog. I mean, this is an all-time performance right here. Five home runs in a single game? Are you kidding me? This is something we're never going to forget. A performance that clearly will go down in history as one of the best ever. And I'm just in awe of what we've seen. And he's getting a standing O for me right now. That was loud contact and a no-doubt double. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over. Can't glove it cleanly. And he'll be safe at first. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Ricky Henderson. He's already homered in this game. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed. Ah, the throw in time to get him, and that does it for the Ready now for the fifth inning. Leading off, Ryan Mountcastle. He's definitely a talented player. He can hit the ball a mile, and uh, they're just hoping for him to have some more consistency so he can establish that next level here in the big leagues. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. And next for the Orioles, Austin Hayes. Oh, well, he's showing some pretty dominating stuff out there in this one, not just in terms of swing and miss, but also in terms of command. You know, all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Banks off the wall. Hayes into second, and he's got a double. Trey Mancini now, and he deals. That's a strike. That's strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. Anthony Santander at the plate. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And stepping in for Boston, Mookie Betts. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. And a pitch. Hard hit, left field, base hit. All over that one right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. And it's off the wall. Throw comes in, runner stopped, second and third, nobody out. And next for the Red Sox, David Ortiz. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. Rips one to right, and it's foul. The 0 1. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, left field, pretty well struck, hits the fence. In its second, no play. As two runs score on the play. Now the third baseman, Wade Boggs. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. And a pitch. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. Swinging a heavy stick. But oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Now at the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. Now batting. Center fielder. The pitch. 
Bradley. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Pulls it in on the warning track. And now here is Kevin Ploiecki. Good contact guy. Good defender. The pitch. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way if it's fair. Out of here. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay yeah, fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. We all saw his hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? Statcast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit below was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly he saw it out of the pitcher's hand no problem. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster, and it's out of here. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the can Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And that one is gone. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And that's a base hit. David Ortiz now at the plate. And the right hander back to work. That one ripped. Way back there. That one is gone. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Up next for the Wade Boggs up next for the Red Sox. Having a ridiculous series. with Into center. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Typically not easy to go deep to center field, but he almost did right there and got a little help from the wind, just not enough. Xander. And here comes Sander Bogarts. And the pitch. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path now to the ball. It. Excellent Center extension, and Jackie. just drove it out of here. Bradley. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. And that's a base hit. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. And here is Enrique Hernandez. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Ricky Henderson up next for the Red Sox. Now batter, the designated hitter. The right-hander back to work. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way, gone. A big home run for him, certainly. Number 300 for his career. Someone get him that baseball. Well, you have to appreciate what he's been able to do in his career. He's too... Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way. And gone! Two outs, nobody on. Here's a speed threat. J.D. Martinez. The left fielder. J.D. And a pitch. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Wow, four consecutive home runs. These guys are taking batting practice in Number the game. Three. Just Number unbelievable 34. at bats. And I tell you what, that hitting coach over there in the dugout, he's feeling pretty proud of himself right now. Urias settles under it, drops into the glove, and that will end the inning.
Back in Boston, Rugnet Odor comes up to the plate now. And a good fastball, strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And one away. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And there are not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. Got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Urias at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch. And the throw to first is there to put an end to the inning. And welcome back. Straight box now. Leading off. The third baseman. Sulcer back Wade. to work. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the no bat matter. that gets everyone's attention. Short Got a pitch to drive, Zander. short to the baseball, squared it up, oh, and the backspin carried it out of here. Puts it away for the out. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Ripped on the ground a second. Two away. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. And here it comes. Now a blast to left center, way back there, on its way, out of here. Here's Kike Hernandez. The batter, number five. The pitch. Oh, now this is drilled to center, way back there, on its way, and gone. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here now the Red Sox DH. Ricky Henderson. That one drilled left field. That's back there. And that one is gone. Back to back to back home runs. And these guys look so dominant right now. Pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not. But I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. So Mookie Betts with a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out. That one ripped. That's back. And that one's gone. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball. This ball is hammered, deep center field. Way back there, on its way, out of here. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. And here is Xander Bogarts. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. In the air to left center. That one's carrying. And gone! That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything to it. Out towards left center. That's back there. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. All set. Leading off for the Orioles. New arm out of the bullpen, Garrett Whitlock. He's making his second appearance of the season. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. 
And that one is in for a strike. Right through there, got him. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. The wind of the pitch. The batter. Mullen. Now the box. Oh, Comes up empty with a swing oh, there. The 0 oh, 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And down on strikes he goes. That's the second out. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two yeah, batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Back here in Boston, bottom of the seventh. Here's Kevin Ploiecki. The pitch. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball. That one drilled left field, and it hits the fence. Another hit. I mean, these types of performances at the plate don't come around too often. This is pretty special. He drove that ball very well out to the deep part of the field, and you may be surprised he didn't get a double out of it. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to right trick here. the hitter at times. But okay. when you give up a home run right there, yeah. manager doesn't have a... Swang and a high fly ball in the air left field, and it's out of here. Well, we put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, now took back. a direct path left to the here. ball, excellent Get extension, here. and just drove it out of here. Yeah. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Nobody on, nobody out. All Red Sox in this one. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, it's fair. Out of here. David Ortiz up next for the Red Sox. Here comes a pitch. That one ripped. That's back there. It bangs off the wall. Pulls into third safely with a triple. So, man aboard. Joe stepping in for Boston. Wade Boggs. And he deals. Swing, and this is ripped. Down the right field line. Way back there here he's so good at getting his arms extended and that's exactly what he did right there you don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over stays through the ball gets the loft and gets the home run and there's a rocket into the outfield Ziggy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with StatCast. Good head assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. Now, Kevin Ploiecki. This one in the air center field. That one's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And he's in safely at third with one out. Well, I didn't think he got it off the bat, but the wind made it a lot more interesting than expected. Nice job of the center fielder. Puts it all the way back to the warning track. Man. Smash to the left side. That's a base hit. Run scores. 
Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. At the plate, Ricky Henderson in the air, left field, and it's out of here. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. And now it's Mookie Betts. Hammer, base hit. We all saw it was hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? StatCast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit velo was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly, he saw it out of the pitcher's hand, no problem. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. And now Wade Boggs. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Way back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up. In the air, center field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. So two down now, and here is Jackie Bradley Jr. Pitch. Out there to center. That one back. And it's out of here. Well, we put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. So two down. Here's the second baseman, Enrique Hernandez. Now the pitch. Number five. That's ripped. Base hit. And it hits the top of the wall. And he's in at second with a two-out double. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly. Back in. Oh, this one got a little out of hand for Chris Singleton and our entire crew.